welcome back to another rendition of Tell All Fridays. We are here. Yes, we made it, Lord. Thank God it's Friday. We made it. So, y'all, thank you for tuning in. That's number one offering. Welcome, 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 welcome. If you have not done this before, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Do that thing, my girl. Bop, 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 bop. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, yes, are y'all liking my glasses? So, this is like my first week. I've been doing blue light glasses for work and different things. I said, oh, let me come show y'all how to be a little studious. Oh. Well, this video this week of my Tell Don't Friday is going to be about Lent. So, I started Lent Ash Wednesday, which, you know, you know how I was like, oh, carnival, carnival. How I love you. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Now it's Wednesday. And now I have to give up something. I truly love, truly admire. So, this year for Lent, I gave up red meat and soda. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to do a, a healthier lifestyle. So, I've been trying to um, follow uh, my, my, my fitness app. And I've been doing, trying to do a 2100 All your pray for me, please. Pray for me. Diet. All your pray for me now. Pray for me because I want bread. I want rice, I want festival, I want bake, I want everything starchy, laid, dead, fried, all that, that's not good for me. So the fact that I'm over here consciously trying to do better, I'm proud of myself, my trainer I'm proud of me, my mother I'm proud of me, everybody that know me is proud of me. So I've been drinking lots more water, green tea. I drink, I just got buff up by, by my. I have a I have a diet police, okay. Enough said there, and my diet police is really about her um her her rank, rank cereal and profession, but whatever. So I've been I've been doing a little mango lemonade, um juice from Publix is my guilty. Just a slight guilty. I don't, you know, have a little cup here and there. You know, when the mood is right, you do your little thing, 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 you organize your life. So, um, but yeah, so this year, I, for Lent, I've, I've been doing a lot of crazy stuff, but this year I give a red meat and um, soda. In the previous years of me giving up Lent, because I try to figure out how did I get to, to, to practice Lent. Because I don't think I grew up doing it, but I think that I had a friend who was like, oh, you know, I'm going to give up so-and-so for Lent. I'm like, oh, you do? Well, why don't you try it with me? And I think I tried it with her. I can't really say it for sure, but I know that one year, coming back from Carnival, it had a lot of um, turbulence. And the way how that plane was coming down to land all year. And it was like, oh. And oh. And oh. I said, Jesus, if you land this plane, Safely in Brooklyn, when well I well not Brooklyn, but Queens, New York. I ain't drinking for the rest of the the Lent. Cause by that time we we done it's probably a week into Lent, and I'm like, listen, I'm gonna give up alcohol. I'm gonna give up alcohol because the way how that that plane was moving, and they go fast and come back slow, and it's shaking, and it's shaking. I said, oh. You ever feel in your belly? You ever feel your nerves in your belly? The bottom part of your belly? I said, no, 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 no. And when that plane... And then it, and it land. Well, I could have kissed the ground. And I had to say true to my words. And I did not drink alcohol for that Lent. But I broke it. I broke Lent, you know, on, 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 on the day that you're supposed to break it. We, we, um... Me and my friends, we all did um, dinner. So who wasn't drinking alcohol, share alcohol. Who wasn't drinking meat, who wasn't eating meat, eat meat. Who wasn't, so we just did it with a merriment. And I think I have a video, but I probably don't have it saved on my phone. But I know my friend does because she's the reporter of the group. Um, and of the, the year that we broke Lent together. Then, uh, one, so one year, 
I gave up. Yeah, y'all breaks for me. Y'all, y'all breaks for me. One year, I have given up sex and masturbation for Lent. And it started off as a joke. Because they was like, oh, you can't give up sex for Lent. And I was like, word? Who want to bet? Let me bet this. And I'm like, yeah, let me bet. So you, it wasn't, they, they didn't bet me, but I did it out of spite. I did it to let people know, like, please, hello, hello. Don't ever tell me that I can't do something. Because if you tell me that I can't do something, I'm going to do it. And that's the issue. So I gave up sex and masturbation for Lent. But I always, you know, have some periods where I don't really, you know, it's not really active. I like to hold on to my cookie, let it ferment like good alcohol and wine, and then when it when it broke out, it ha Golden Gates, okay? Or should I, I had a friend who one time nicknamed me Golden Drip. But she drip she, she named me that drip for she named me that name for a different reason. Not about sexual association. But the reason why I came here to tell y'all about my my Lent, because Lent is hard this year, and I'm just going to say that it's really hard because everything that I said that I don't, that I'm giving up, is what I crave and what I want, and I have a lot of influences around me, and then trying to do the Lent and be on a diet is even harder, and I just don't understand how am I going to make it to April 3rd, so I'm like, okay, 30 days, but I keep forgetting it is not 30 days, it is 40 days. Oh, yeah? I'm doing good. I haven't had red meat, and I haven't had soda. So that's that's half the battle of not doing it. It's half the battle. But my mother, my mother tried me all year. My mother know I'm on a diet, and she know that I give her red meat and thing, right? The woman going to she favorite place, the casino. She coming home, she said, you know what, let me stop and get my child some food. My mother know, she know my favorite. We all know that I'm half Jamaican, half Jordanian. So my favorite, well, one of my favorite things in the world is oxtail. I, my plan to be like this, I want white rice, I want oxtail, I want plantain. And I want gravy on my rice, please and thanks. Camille knew that. She went to the Golden Cross in the hood by the house and when they get oxtails, just how I like it, how I described it to you, is how she did it. She got herself curry shrimp. So she called me, she was like, where you? I said, oh, I leave at work, I don't need highway, I'm coming home, yeah, da, da, da. She was like, yeah, get us up and get food for you. I said, yes, what are you get for me, girl? This is literally how the conversation went. She said, girl, I get, I get you some oxtails. I said, you got me some what? I got you some oxtail. I said, I can't eat oxtail. It's red meat. Oh, my gosh. I claim. Forget. Do you forget that we're eating no meat in this house? That all the time we're doing salt fish, salt fish, salmon. We're doing um, shrimp. All different type of thing we're doing. And you clear forget? And you're going to give me oxtail? You try to step me up for failure? And the crazy part about it, I well look at, I well look at she plates. And I said, girl, I, w- I want to watch you take a piece of it. I said, eat it now. And she ate it. I was like, how it is? It tastes good. Uh, oh, yeah. Please, please pray for me to make it to April 3rd. And hopefully when April 3rd comes, I need to really have a discussion with myself to see if I'm going to continue not eating the red meat and drinking the soda or break fast. So that's where I'll probably be in a little, you know, dilemma to see what and where this is going to pop off with. But I know that in April is coming Ramadan, and I have my friend who does it, who does Ramadan because they're, they're, they're Muslim, and my ex-man, that y'all all, I talk about him freely, asked me to do Ramadan, and I did it for two weeks, and I, and, and I felt like, I felt like with the two weeks that I did the Ramadan, I felt so much lighter with the fast day, when you really, when you really, you know, um, eat small and do anything you need to do. So I'm thinking about straight from Lent, we going straight to, to Ramadan, and then hopefully we can see if I can do a little intermittent fasting, get my life together, together, 
together, together, together. Ooh, ooh. Because I have a friend who told me that. Well, well, he said, well, I'm sorry. He said that when you come from, come back to New York in August, I want to see somebody different, you know. I said, for real? You want to see, you want to see somebody different? But he's like, he's in the gym. He's like, you know, Riley Daddy. Riley Daddy is the one who tell me in August he needs to see somebody different. I said, oh, okay, Riley Daddy. But he really is pushing me to do what I need to do. And not even that, he's trying to hold me accountable. And that's the best thing that somebody could do for you is hold you accountable. If you if you, if you gonna say you're going to do something, do me what you say and do what you're going to say. Simple. Simple. So, I just came here to tell y'all how hard it is. Because a girl over here doing lens. You would think that giving up red meat and soda is something so, so different. Like, so, something so easy. But I literally see the having like a burger. I'm like, oh, God, that burger looking good. Oh, cool, the juicy. Can I get a bite now? But no. But no, y'all. So, let's see how Lent goes. And I would definitely let y'all know if I continue to stay on, um, to stay with the Lent protocols. Or if I just say, you know what, bump this. 40 days and 40 nights has, has transpired. Time to eat and be merry and break bread and to do fish. Yeah, you ever yeah, you ever been to been to a Caribbean Thanksgiving where, where the people just have the bread and they put the, the honey in the bread and say break bread and rejoice? And that, that whole made bread with that honey is the best. <laughs> yeah, I can tell that I wanna die because I I'm thinking about different past experiences about food. Pray for me, y'all. I'm done. Y'all, be blessed, be safe, enjoy your Friday, and see you back here next Friday. Don't miss it. Because I tell you, next Friday is going to be a Bacchanal story. I come with a Bacchanal for everybody. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 